I mean, I've seen people when I'm reading a book, they come over and go, what are you reading? You're reading? It's almost like, you know, like the Monty Python joke of, look, this one knows how to speak. Or That's right. this one knows how to read. It's like, my God, he, you know. Yeah. Here it is. K-O-C-O, -O, bioterrorism test, scheduled over central Oklahoma. Click on that one. And there's a bunch of other news. I don't know if this is the Subtilis Globogy story. But uh, Goldsby selected for bioterrorism drill. I mean, they do it everywhere. But after you're done showing that, Google this. Plague bombs tested over Scotland. And, and, and they admit just constant spraying since the 40s of Canada, the United States, and England. Project Shad, nerve gassing people on ships, telling troops they're going in to have, have uh, CS gas tested on them, and they hit them with nerve gas and kill them. All declassified, Alan, and you're bad for talking about it. You're with the government because you don't want them to do it. That makes total sense, doesn't it? That, that's the way their logic runs, yeah. Bioterrorism test scheduled over central Oklahoma. Materials simulating chemical threat to be dropped on areas. That's 2003. Print me that. No, no, that. Oh, it said chemicals to simulate, but then it says Bacillus thrunengenesis, BT. But then when you go on to read, it was another one. They were, it turned out to be a whole group of bacteria which cause spontaneous abortion. I'm sorry, go ahead. It's ast and that's astonishing. There's, there's no lack of data. There's even uh, mainstream TV uh, articles on the, the yellow stuff that's come down in some areas of the U.S. Uh, and it was tested by the TV, the people, for, and it was cadmium, and a cadmium and aluminum oxide. And that was only about a year ago. As the link is on my site in the archives. There's a mainline TV station that showed you it, and they showed you the guy's truck covered with the stuff. It was not pollen. It's the first thing I'll hit you with. Oh, it's pollen. Well, I had it here in February a couple of years ago, and the, the leaves don't even come out where I am until Listen, late May. Listen, <laughs> we, had, we had in Belton and other places people who didn't believe, saying black helicopters would fly over with spray bottles and spray people, and then Mike Hansen was doing construction work one day on a hilltop and watched a helicopter fly over and spray a schoolyard, and then it was on the news... Everybody was collapsing without even knowing about the helicopters. The hospitals were filled with people. I mean, this is going on here, and we even film it. But, but uh, you know what? That guy was engaged in double, triple, quadruple, think. He said that you were basically lying about the gel. And then when it was BBC, he said, well, that's British propaganda. The Scots don't lie. So I want you guys to search. Uh, what was the headline? You were saying something mysterious gel? Or Mystery Gel, Scotland? That's right. Oh, there it is. Nazis tested crude atomic bomb before end of war. No, that's the Scotsman. Uh, it was plague bombs. Bomb, it was plague bombs tested over Scotland's what I want. Plague bombs. Now you're going to get the headline. You got to show these people. People wonder how I get these articles. They go, you must be an agent. Well, I, I see I, I put the word in and I look at it. Mm how -hmm. naval intelligence tested lethal plague bombs in Scotland. That's fine articles. L listen, here's the one I want for everybody out there. I want to show him Scotsman Mysterious Gel Scotland. Scotsman.com Mysterious Gel Scotland. And then we'll show him this, and he won't be able to compute. He'll just go, Vatican, agent, Zionist, agent, devil agent, devil agent, Illuminati, Illuminati, he's bad. He doesn't want them testing on me. He's with them. He's with them. Uh, because, again, they don't want to see someone making them face the tyranny and then warn others. It's all about also being an elitist in the conspiracy slash patriot movement going, only I understand. Everyone else is an agent. No one's good. What do you call that mental illness? That's a sort of paraphrenia, you call it. <laughs> well, it's just insane. All I'm trying to do is save my family here. Um, here it is. This is uh, another BBC. I'm going to find it. Do Scotsman.com. you got to put Scotsman.com after the Scotsman right there to find it. That's the way you got to do that on. All right, I'm sorry, Alan. I'm out of control today. That, that Scotsman.com probably is a secret code for MI6 agents. <laughs> exactly. Now, the MI6 agents are actually attacking us. I got attacked by the BBC yesterday, by the way.
There's a Scotsman mentioning it, but it's its main page. I'm going to find that and put it up there for him. He won't know what to do, though, about it. But see, it all becomes the mental illness of showing it that's in the Scotsman instead of the fact that there's this mysterious jelly being sprayed everywhere. Gary in Texas, go ahead. Buddy. Go ahead, Gary. Hey, Alex, what's going on? We're on the air worldwide. Uh, I just wanted to touch real quick on this climate bill and uh, Obama real quick, if I could, because it, some of the responses I get from people when I tell them, the direct quotes from what he ran in his campaign to what he says on the issues now. And Yeah, I was going to do that today. Taking... I've, got, I've got five videos of him saying he will not do any signing statements. I got four or five videos where he says he will not raise any taxes, but two hundred fifty thousand or above. And now he's saying, "I never said that." I'm and, and and the Obama people go, "He never said that." Shut up. Go ahead. And uh, the response I get is, "Oh, he's great. He's going to be great for the country." And the biggest thing is he shows how far society has come for civil rights issues. For no, no, he's got he's got and dark he's skin, so he can double the so he can double the eugenics uh, on the blacks. He's here to bring death to Africa and Afrikan. Let's get a comment from uh, Alan Watt on that. I was to say that uh, that committee they set up for comparative effectiveness in healthcare is, is a vast reduction of healthcare when you really look into what they're on about. Is taking away your health care. That's when he hit the poorest first at the bottom. Yeah. yeah, Gary, stay there. I'll let you finish up your point real quick, and we'll take a few final calls, Jonathan and Tatina. I want to get to at least three calls on the other side. Alan Watt, an amazing interview, shaping up to be a two hour, 50 minutes long. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com are the sites. Get my film, in Gang, get it out to everybody. Deprogram the slaves. Portugal, Switzerland, a bunch of other countries now won't accept U.S. customs. UBS and others, because our government's stealing everybody's bank accounts. Then the big trillion dollar and billion dollar slush funds, those are all left alone. This is all part of the OECD, global tax avoidance, the total grid going in, and we are known as the slave suckers of the planet. The Chinese and the American people are the different beta test, so are the Brits. Uh, finishing up, Gary, yeah, Obama has lied about everything except his promise to set up youth corps. And uh, he's keeping troops in Iraq. That's all a stage deal, pulling some out of a few cities. But uh, very, very serious. Uh, anything else? Uh, just on the climate bill that just went through the House as a vote, after your show, I watched the C-SPAN coverage of it, and none of them, the Democrats didn't even have a legitimate claim for this bill. And well, then, of course they don't want to be legitimate. I appreciate your call. Uh, yeah, the uh, global... Climate situation. What's that all about, Alan Watt? Again, it's just repetitive propaganda. They don't even need facts. They, they hope to win just by the propaganda. Because the average person cannot believe that so many people would, would go to such extreme lengths to lie to them. That that's how we think as ordinary people. Remember Hitler said the same thing. If you're going to tell a lie, make sure it's a big lie. They're more likely to believe it. And this is what they're using today. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Selective scientists who are all on the IPPC. And um, uh, those scientists who, who come out with other facts, contradictory data, are being barred from world meetings or even from getting talks. Uh, on Hell, they're television. trying to make it illegal. Yes, they are. Climate, yeah. climate denial. That's uh, right. Let's talk to Tatiana in California. Go ahead, Tatiana. Sorry, I was calling you Tatiana. I was reading way it's across. Okay. The... <laughs> it's all right. People who make mistakes. Uh, Alex, hi. I just wanted to thank you for what you're doing. And I have actually a comment about one of your shows you did a few days ago yeah. on this federal on this federal offense. Uh, if somebody says something, if you don't like, they can uh, actually, um, you know, sue you or whatever. And uh, no, my not other sue question... you, arrest you. The cyberbullying and the hate crimes act. The hate crimes act is passed, and it says if you hurt someone's feelings, you're going to federal prison. Okay. Well, my other question is, if it's a law, isn't it, isn't it a double eight edge? sword we can use that against them no no it's all selectively enforced it's all like when the cops beat a guy to death in england and it comes out they even killed him they get they get awards just like when cop you know just like when the when the army recruiters lie and say you'll go to prison if you don't join the military when you haven't signed they get promoted alan you want to explain that yes that's the technique they're using and they make it sound as though everything's equal we all get equal chances but when you look at the united nations for instance uh, they decide which NGOs 
uh, they will have on board and which ones they will not, which ones are taboo. So it's selective across the board. Absolutely. Yeah, that's like the United Nations, Tatiana, in Rwanda it came out. They really ran that mass murder. But then they run the trial punishing a few machete wielders. Anything else, Tatiana? Well, my question was, isn't it a, isn't it a law a double-edged sword? Basically, you can't use the same law against them? No, no, because they, they, they decide how to apply it. Selective enforcement. I appreciate your call. We're out of time for Jordan and others. Always amazing having you on, Alan Watt, today for two hours and 50 minutes. Cutting to the matrix.com. Our sites are prisonplanet.com and infowars.com. Alan, super job. We got some special projects coming up in the future, and I'm, I'm really honored to work with you, Alan. Uh, thanks, Alec. I appreciate being on. Let me say bye to you when the show ends, my friend. Okay.